It's do or die for the state employee labor unions this week as the pressure is on for hundreds of millions in concessions. Pink slips could be going out soon. Good evening. I'm Ann Nyberg. And I'm Scott McDonald. Eight weeks from today is July 1st. That is the start of the new budget year. And some state employees must get at least eight weeks notice if they're going to lose their job. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joining us live with more on this tonight. Good evening, Mark. Hi, Scott and Ann. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. Yeah, a big concession deal is even more crucial than ever now that the red ink numbers measure close to $5 billion over the next two years. Governor Malloy is planning to unveil a new budget plan by the end of the week. In the absence of a concession agreement from the labor unions, the first of what may be thousands of layoff notices are also expected. Legislative leaders from both political parties agree with the governor that a concession deal for $700 million in givebacks next year and $800 million the year after must be achieved. In fairness to the people of Connecticut and in fairness to the workforce, we need to understand where we are. When the governor proposed his original budget back in February, it included a plan for 4,200 state employee layoffs if a concession deal is not reached. Under that plan, the agency that would take the biggest hit is the Department of Correction. That's likely because there are fewer inmates in prison now than at any time in the past two decades. The governor's original layoff plan calls for 567 layoffs at DOC, 430 in the state college and university system, 403 in the judicial department, and 300 in the Department of Children and Families. The Department of Transportation would also see a big hit if there's no concession deal. Under the original Malloy layoff plan, 319 would get pink slips at DOT, 319 at the Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services, 197 at the University of Connecticut, and 158 at the Yukon Health Center. Even the agency that includes the state police would not be exempt, with 161 layoffs slated there. It's our, uh, our hope. But our anticipation that the $700 million in, in concessions will be achieved. I would hope not only we get the $700 million of concessions, but we probably need more at this point. But at the very least, we need that because nobody wants anybody to lose their job. Now, the state minority leader in the House of Representatives, Ms. Claritas, there also adds that many of these state union contracts are just not sustainable anymore. Has nothing to do with the state employees. They're not doing anything wrong, she says. It's just an old model that actually doesn't work anymore. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis Music.